Duck and we get Captain Euphonium Cloud coming in. I don't Captain know. Captain Euphonium, a bit of a character specialist playing this character since he was added to the cast in Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Wii U 3DS. I mean, I don't really know what Cloud does here. I feel like Duck Hunt can, like, sort of flip him in his issue with killing by jumping Cloud. So it's garbage recovery. And, like, when I Duck Hunt so. just, like, when Duck Hunt tries to, like, face him out with his eyes, like, Cloud is like, charge limit, but can't really do too much else yeah. in response. What Cloud has to do is... Oh! I'm at an early play there. What Cloud has to do is find a way through the wall of projectiles that Duck Hunt puts through, because Duck Hunt's projectiles can be pretty imposing, but his uh, tilts and neutrals aren't... They're not necessarily bad, but compared to Clouds, they might be I think just try to go out a little bit more when Cloud gets on stage. Cloud is a super hard time to hold on to him. Yeah. Duck Hunt, and he could definitely take control of that. Even if he's afraid to go off stage himself, he could still take control of that. Captain Euphony is taking that first stock with a rare limit neutral beat. You don't see too many of those. Yeah, I feel like they're well, maybe better picking. They they're better picking ultimate because uh, finishing touches. <laughs> yeah, and because now limit comes with a 15 second window where you can use four goes away. So I guess players who use cloud would be more compelled to throw that out in order to try to make use of limit at some point if they can't get the spacing for finishing touch or cross slash. That was. That's one of the advantages that Duck Hunt has with character with all these projectiles. You can set all sorts of traps for the other player to fall into. I feel like Cloud, like, how he gets his advantage is he finds a way under Duck Hunt, and then yeah. Duck Hunt doesn't really have to. He gets his way to get through. Pretty even game so far right now. And See, look, now he's above, yeah. and Duck Hunt doesn't have a really good response. He has a man there to kind of help him, but he still doesn't have yeah. oh. oh, that's a little unfortunate. Oh, yeah, he can see that happen. I don't even know if he air ducked. It didn't really look like it. It I'm just looked sure. like he didn't press a button when he was falling. He almost got him into that hand. All I know is that this is not Smash 4, therefore, it is possible for him to get <laughs> I mean, now he has a limit, and he's at, like, yeah. mid-first zone. He's gonna use it on the recovery. See, I feel like Duck Hunt should be doing that way more, throwing Pan yeah. up there. He tried it before, but he missed with Pan, but, like, I feel like that's a lot better in his cloud. As opposed to, like, trying to do, a, like, a ledge setup or a ledge trap setup. Yeah. Just a more direct approach with a Pan. Dude, that was really oh, scary. Yeah, he was, was on top of Pan. Yeah. 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 It seems like he knows how to laugh, how to get those setups with the hand. Right yeah, he's so really good with those hand setups. As you can see there, that was... I don't even know how he knew that hand was going to go the other way. Someone... I don't know... Oh, we have zero viewers in the chat. I was going to say, if someone's in the chat, just, like, make a compilation of Rob <laughs> doing things with his hand. Like, I would just watch that hand move. <laughs> okay. Do you have any thoughts on this matchup? Damn. All right. Spoken from John Dingus. Yep. Our local pen mate. One of the greatest pads currently in the U Smash. Oh yeah, I remember the tournament where we all just did like different riffs of his pad. <laughs> Someone was like Ringo my Rockers. time because yeah. that sounds phenomenal. Yeah, no, he didn't even know. It was just like, okay, everybody, we're just gonna do different versions of Donald <laughs> pad. Ringo Rompus, Ringo Pompus. All the different types of Donald Dingus that you could get. And Captain Euphonia taking the game one. We were paying attention at the end there, but... Oh, what? Commanding. What? Nah. Yeah. You thought wrong. You thunk wrong, Donald. You thunk wrong. You thunk wrong. This is why Blue Eyes White Privilege has the best tag in the film. <laughs> Did he come back? Blue Eyes White Privilege? Yeah, he's playing tonight. Oh, okay. I I think, can't, when I, I was at a tournament for the first time and heard that tag, I lost it. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. I somehow am only now realizing that there is in fact melee here. Dude, melee's here every week. Come melee, on. The melee, I gotta hand it, the melee guys are the most committed people we have. Are They're here every week. <laughs> I'll be here every week, bringing two televisions you're and a every... PS4. Gee, and it's almost Xbox. like you're the president or something. I know, but when I wasn't the president, I still didn't. Get That's on my true. level. <laughs> I just feel like, in terms of games, like... I guess. 
I feel like the community for melee here is more passionate and devoted than the community for like. She really knows the side beats. Right? That was some Oops. random one. I think he's trying to read the duck hunt going into him. That oh yeah, yeah. But cloud side B coming through. Does neutral be like do too much for him in this? He's not uh, using it at all. Cloud? Yeah, I don't really know if it would do anything. For him. I feel like it might do something, but the thing is, like, compared to Duck Hunt projectiles and all the things he can do, it's not going to do too much, so he just has a better shot if he takes a more, like, direct approach to it. As we can see here with the limit side, he's coming through. I feel like neutral be like, it moves slow enough that, like, Cloud can do some stuff out of it. Yeah, and, and it just, like, disrupts, especially the cam, I can see that working. But he's just not, he's trying to get a little bit closer. He's trying to charge limit when he's not close up, and then when he is close up, he tries to press some kind of advantage. Yeah. And Rob is in the first stomp of this game. However, he does find himself at 134.7%. 27 <laughs> I don't even know what to do that. Uh, so yeah, now we have a position where Rob is going to try to capitalize as much as he can to build his advantage. And Captain Euphonium just wants to take the stock I, like that. I feel like Rob should have been ready for that. He was randomly up smashing like a ton of amount. Yeah, he, he could definitely, you could definitely tell he wanted it, but... I mean, I guess he just wasn't It, ready it worked for eventually. It. Yeah. And that is a quick way to deal a whole lot of damage right there. Mm -hmm. But Duck Hunt brought it right back with that quick up. A little segue, Roy side B actually does as much as Cloud's limit side B. A <laughs> lot of fun being a Roy man right there. So, yeah, we have Rob doing what he's been doing throughout these past few sets. Trying to just control the positioning and pace of the match with that can. And um, Captain Euphonium yeah. not having it, slapping it into him. I feel like Captain Euphonium is pretty good about handling his deck out. He always takes yeah. a hand when he sees it. He always, like, he always tries to deal with some of his deck out so that it's not out of the way. Yeah. I mean, clearly it's Duck Hunt. He has a ton of projectiles. He can't really deal with all of them. But yeah. He doesn't do some of I feel like the one to watch out for is the can because he has that ability to control it after he put, puts it out there. Or even the can do when he's in hit stun. Uh, or when he's being grabbed. I don't know nearly enough about Duck Hunt. Oh, yeah. You don't know the Duck Hunt knowledge? No. Dude, I keep telling you, I, I, haven't, I haven't been to these tournaments in a while. I'm not with it. Alright. Like, I keep looking around and I'm like, I don't know these people. Okay. Hello. Um, what are your thoughts on the matchup? You already Tell did. me your thoughts on the matchup. He doesn't even want to hit Duck Hunt. I'm not going to leave you alone win. until you give me your thoughts on the matchup. Damn. I don't even know. This. I feel uh. like... Cloud's a little bit too afraid to go on the stage when Duck Hunt, like, gets knocked off the stage. Like, he's too afraid to contest his recovery, and Duck Hunt does have a pretty good way of covering it. Yeah. But, like, I think he's try to do something. Maybe just try to throw a projectile out and see what happens. Maybe it'll hit the hand back, or, like, mess up some of his other projectiles. Yeah. Because, like, look, there he tried to cover it, and, like, he just sat there charging it. Which isn't, like, the worst response. But maybe yeah. he could try to get Duck Hunt to be a little bit more scared to be off stage. Because right now, I feel like he's coming back to play. He doesn't really have... Like, Cloud doesn't really have any ledge setup that he can do, so Duck Hunt just feels like he's just getting into trade. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. I know, uh... I don't know if it exists in this game, but I know in Smash 4, Cloud's down tilt is one of the stronger two frames. Oh! Okay, that was pretty good. That was that the was first pretty. time I've ever seen him contest that recovery now. And that is... It's still good enough good from the floor. Cool. 